Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, I made this card at Crop. As I've said in a couple of other videos, I have um, done heat embossing and ruined my um, embossing powder and dropped it. So I'm still going to emboss, but it's going to work out a bit silver. So that's what we're going to do there. And I never got the ribbon out. Just a moment. Looked in the wrong, wrong place. <coughs> so, alright, to make this card, I'm changing the colour. I'm using mint macaron. I've got a card base of 5 and 5 eighths by. Eight and a quarter by five and five seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half and burnished. I've got a piece of white, two pieces of white uh, cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the inside and one for the outside. A piece of mint macaron at three and a half. Now three and three quarters by five and a half. And I've got a piece already cut out of the stitch nested dies in Pretty Peacock. I thought that got nice on there. And I've got some scrap white for the bird, flowers and the leaves. I've already done the leaves and the flowers, we've just got the bird to cut out. So embossing to doing. And let's stamp the background. Stamp set. Free as a bird. I'm going to use the leaf, this bird, and these two flowers. And the sentiment comes from everything is rosy, and it's may your birthday be filled with pretty things. So we'll do the background first which is tone on tone, so mint macaron and the leaf and all we did is I went round the outside and just stamped the leaves come off the page as well And that's all I did there. Oh no, I need this again for the bird. And we're going to stamp that in uh, mint macaron and cut it out by hand. You also need to do three leaves, which I've got here. A large flower and a small flower, which I've got there. All right, let's cut this bird out and then we'll do our embossing. So Filmed six cards today, and I think of hand cut or fussy cut on every one of them. And that's the bird cut out. As quick as easy as that. Right. 
get rid of that, keep that little bit of scrap, that's the sentiment. Done that, done that. Right, embossing. Embossing will be. Clean my card. Finish with that bow. On my stamp. Versa mark on it, plenty of Versa mark, and we're going to stamp this at the top of the nested die. And then we're going to get a scrap of paper. Says. And cover that with this embossing powder. This embossing powder is called Wow and it is silver pearl. Never used it before until today and it's quite nice. white embossing powder now. Save my pennies up for it. Get my heat tool really hot. And emboss that. That's that done. That's come out quite well. And that will sit on there. They go quite well together, them two colours. Right, let's stick this down. this on the white just to give it a little border separate it from the card base In. So a message can be written. Right, this needs dimensionals. and place that in the middle hopefully straight now with our leaves and our flowers we're going to glue a leaf there 
and a leaf coming down that way a bird and our two flowers and then this one will go up there but we need a bit of ribbon so let me cut a bit off don't need a lot of ribbon This ribbon is a spotted ribbon, it's not stamping on, I oh, know they do one that's similar. This one was in Brenda's craft room and I got given all her stuff and I just haven't used it so I decided to use it. So I'm just going to flag the ends like that. Get my glue dots and my pokey tool. Grab a glue dot, put it in the middle, and fold that down. Now that will go under the flowers and the bird, like that there. And we want another bit, a bit smaller, not as big. Flag the ends of that as well. And this bit's going to go under here, at the back of the leaf, up there. So let's get them all stuck down. So let's do this one first. Put a glue dot in the middle. Do it that way. And then we'll glue the leaf on the ribbon. And then we'll glue the ribbon under here. Like that. This one will glue the ribbon down there. Or should I put it underneath? Let's put it underneath, it'll be better. So I'll just lift that up. Place that there. Right. Um, glue these leaves on. I could really put a mini dimensional under there, I think I will. Take the backing off. And do one under that one as well. This one, I'll do the same, put one on there, and one on there, but glue that bit. I'll stick the bird up. Yeah. 
make them look better sticking up. So let's put some dimensionals. No, we don't need that one, but we need a tiny one. Cut in half. On the tail. I'm not gluing the bottom bit, uh, putting dimensionals on the bottom bit. I am actually going to glue that down, sit the flowers on top. And then the flowers. We just glue them over the bird's feet. And there we have it. No, we haven't. We need some gems on it. So Let's get rid of this. And that. And bring our gems down. I am going to put gold or silver. Silver. So, stick one up there, one there, and one down there. Maybe not that one. There we have it. They're a bit long, I'm going to shorten them a bit. All we're going to do is she says I hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.